Hello everybody, how's it going? Saka here, and today I'm bringing a little video where I'm going to show you guys how to get the Barricade Builder for Left 4 Dead 1. On PC, of course. So, this is kind of my own little unique menu, I guess you could call it. Uh, all it is, it's, a, it's, a, it's called a radio menu, or radial menu, however you want to pronounce it. It's a text file. You just overwrite the one that's already in your uh, file for Left 4 Dead 1. Once you load in to Left 4 Dead, you gotta make sure you're playing on a local server. You wanna be the host so you can, you know, set everything up. And I'll show you vice versa once we're in. Anyway, so once you download the menu, uh, it's gonna be on one RAR file. If you don't have one RAR, just go get it. It's free. You can, well, kind of. You can get the trial and then just kind of ignore everything else. But, uh, you don't wanna extract it right to your desktop. This readme is just kind of, you know, a couple things, question and answers, and a few little codes just so you are like aware of what's actually in there then this is the menu this is what it's gonna look like now your character commands are what's gonna be your way to turn on cheats and such and there's a few other little commands that are in there for spawning and stuff you can also use the console I just figured I'd make this so it's a lot easier than having to type it all out in case you forget the code so now we have this on our desktop we're going to locate our left 4 dead folder now if you're on 64-bit, this is where it's going to be, otherwise on <clears throat> otherwise on 32-bit, I think it's just in your regular program files. I might be wrong, but mine is in x86. You're going to go find your Steam folder, Steam Maps, Common, Left 4 Dead, and then Left 4 Dead again. You're going to go on the scripts. Now when you scroll down, you'll find the radio menu right there. Now this is, I have the same one in mine, so just so you know, this is the same menu I use. <clears throat> and there are a lot of other commands that are in here. You can set these to buttons, to different bind keys. And then we have at the bottom here some binds that I use. Uh, I like the cemetery column. I actually use that one a lot. I just, I like pressing T because it's so much easier. I have no clip binding to Q. And then you want to rotate. Uh, I, I have my set 22.5. Two clicks will get you to 45 degrees for that reason. And then, you know, then it'll be the same rotation every time around. Then you want to remove, you, you want to bind something to remove because you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And uh, just a disclaimer for that, you can also delete zombies and other players. Try not to because you can really fuck up their computer in general, actually. But, uh, yeah, so what you're going to do is you're just going to drag it right into here, and it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite, and you want to say yes. I have Left 4 Dead running right now, so I don't want to fuck that up, actually, because I'm just, I'm just kind of sitting there in survival, just racking up a time. But, uh, yeah, <clears throat> but you know it's the exact same thing that's in here. Uh, if I overwrite it, it's going to fuck up the game, so that's why I'm not doing it right now. But it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite or copy or replace. You want to replace it. Make sure that you replace it because if you just create a second copy, it's not going to work. So and then once that, you have that done, that's pretty much it. You just load in Left 4 Dead, go to a local server, or create a local server, and then I will show you in just a moment what you do from there. Alright, now we're back. Now you can literally load up any game mode. So let's just load up... Uh, regular campaign just make sure you change your server type to local or else this will not work and what I should have done at the main menu is show you guys how to enable the developer console which is what you need in order to use the commands through the console so when you load it press your escape key to pull up your main menu keyboard mouse make sure allow developer consoles on because when you load up this is what will sort this is sort of what your screen will look like I don't remember what all is different on mine, but you need to make sure that the allow developer console is checked to enabled and hit done. Return to the game. Now if you press the tilt key, this is the key that's like in the upper left corner of the tab and one key, and it's right below the escape key. Press that, it's going to open up this gray box. You can use the console to do certain commands. Like say you want to fly. Well, you have to have cheats on. Hold on. We'll go get to that in a minute. But the way I have the bear the radio menu setup. Instead of having character commands through your number lock, um, zero and one keys, <coughs> I have it all set up for console commands and spawn commands. Press and hold zero on the number lock, it's gonna pull up this little menu here. Cheats on is just directly in the middle. 
Sorry about that. I uh, had a little issue there. But you press and hold zero. It's going to pull up this menu here. Right here in the middle is SV Cheats 1, which activates cheats. Let release that. It's going to turn on cheats. You're going to see it down there in the little feed tab. Press and hold it again. You can go turn on God Mode and Infinite Ammo. So we can sit here and all this shit down. Infinite ammo does not work with the first aid kits. I don't know if it's gonna let me, yeah. But anyways, <clears throat> so there you have that. Now we're gonna bind, I'm gonna bind, I have my no clip binded to Q, because I don't use Q for anything. So we're gonna type in the consoles, bind Q space, you're gonna hold shift and hit the quotations, and you're gonna type in no clip, and then close quotations. Type that in, so now when we press Q, you're gonna notice your crosshairs open up, you're fine. When you release, you fall down. So I don't remember if this is binded into the radio menu because I, the base menu is uh, one I downloaded myself. I just added a lot of shit into it, but if you hit the O key, you will like resupply with full health. And if say you fall off a ledge, like here, why don't we see if I can get myself. Here, like it's, Say so you're stuck in this situation too. Open the command, or open the console, type in kill, capital S. You have to be capital, because they're, that's how they're spelled throughout the console. That's how they're like named through the console. Kill smoker. You're safe. Alright, so we're stuck in this instance now. Hit O, directly saves. Now, as I was trying to say before. There are other stuff in here, like there's sandbags. Now a little tip here. I have my rotate and bind key set to V and B. You can set them to whatever you want, just make sure they don't affect any of your actual gameplay stuff. So we're gonna open up the console here in case it the uh, binding doesn't work through the radio menu. We're gonna type in bind v quotation. Hold on, bind v quotations. Rotate 22.5. That might even be the wrong terminology for it. It might be like ent underscore rotate 22.5. I don't know, I think it's the entity rotate. Here, let me see if I can. Yeah, alright, so I'm sorry. So it's bind V quotations, ENT underscore rotate 22.5, close quotations, bind B, ENT underscore remove, close quotations. So when you press B, you're going to remove stuff. And be careful with this because you can also do that. It'll work on it'll work on infected, it'll work on players, it'll work on some props that are in the game. So yeah, just kind of be aware of that. Stations up the street. Like so. Had to remove that car there like nothing. Other console commands I've put in, I don't remember, I don't know if they're actually built into your binds to begin with, you might have to bind them yourself. They are at the bottom of the radio menu, uh, the radio menu text file. And you just take those, you copy and paste, I have the binds set up directly. <clears throat> so you can literally highlight from where it says bind to the end of the quotations. And just open up your console, copy and paste, and then it'll go right in, it'll be binded. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else you can just kind of you can kind of look around in the radio menu. That's in there. There's other consequences that are not binded, so you can just kind of experiment. You just load them in to you just load them in into the console, and you can just experiment with that. Just make sure it's actual uh, the the command, the console command, not like 
all of it because it's not going to register all that. No, I would like to see what is actually able to the console here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video.